Well, hello and uh, welcome back to uh, Rome. Because it is a fantastic e afternoon of sport ahead, we already had an amazing day of sport, though, yesterday. You've seen from some of those images just what was on the menu. From the uh, Global Champions League team competition for the Hamburg Diamonds, right the way through to our Launchy Global Champions Tour Grand Prix and the crowning of a brand new champion as well. And I'm delighted to say, Three of those involved are all with me here this afternoon. Grand Prix winner, Evelina Tovek. Trainer, Henrik von Eckermann, who's also been in this position before as Grand Prix winner as well at, at many other events. And Harry Smolders, last year's Grand Prix winner, but this year's champion of the Launchy Global Champions Tour. Very good afternoon to you all. Been a, a very good day uh, yesterday for all of them. We're going to take uh, a little look at uh, how yesterday played out as well for uh, each involved in uh, that uh, wonderful day of sport all the way through. We're getting uh, to see a few uh, thumbs up there. Evelina, to come to you first. Yesterday was the biggest win of your career so far, but you can see from some of those images there, what does it bring back? How did it feel? It was amazing, yeah, amazing feeling, really. We're looking there on the podium of uh, you all standing. How, how do you take that in? How does it feel today after that? Uh, yesterday I was quite shocked, but today it's more, <laughs> I can <laughs> realise it was real. <laughs> well now it's all about going on and doing it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Well, an amazing horse there. And uh, Harry Smolders, seeing uh, up there on the podium, we'll, we'll talk about the championship in a minute, but Don's performance yesterday, your performance yesterday, enough to clinch the championship. How did you rate yesterday and, and comparing it to last year's win here too? Uh, it was a totally different competition yesterday than last year. I think uh, last year we were with eight in the jump off. And it was a very, very fast jump off with many clears. Uh, yesterday only three. With Marcus uh, had to start off and he, he got one down. So I went for a steady clear and I, I knew I left room. But uh, I think it was meant to be for Evelina that she was going to win. Well, we're seeing uh, a little of your jump off round uh, yesterday. I mean, I in terms of your strategy here, you had, as you mentioned, Marcus going first, Evelina to come behind you. What was the thinking here and what, what did you really use of, in the tools in the box of Don? Yeah, like the next turn after the double, that, that cost a lot of time with him. Uh, I have to reorganize a little bit and when I have a little bit of waiting distance uh, to the vertical, so I make an extra start to the next oxer and uh, that cost a lot of time with him. Well, it was uh, the way you played out was enough points for you to get to the top of the championship table. Much celebrating last night? <laughs> yeah, we had a little bit uh, of celebration. I mean, uh, after such a successful year, and uh, with my horses, they were all the, all the year through, they were performing uh, on the highest level. Well, it was an amazing feat. We're going to have a look at the split screen between uh, the top two yesterday, between you, Evelina, and Harry. And this is where I'm going to bring Henrik von Eckermann in as well, trainer of Evelina. Henrik, talk us through here. What was the advice that you gave to Evelina, and, and how did it play out with the horse here, comparing the two? Okay, we were standing and watching Harry, and um, after this turn that's coming now, um, I saw he did eight down to that oxer, so then I started to think, ah, this, we can get him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, he had quite steady soon to the water. He was also quite steady, so uh, like Harry said, it was, was room. Um, and I said to Evelina, just, you know, go in and have fun, we have nothing to lose. She would have been third. It was also been a great day yesterday for her. So, um, like I said, we had nothing to lose, and uh, she did a great job. Kept her head very cold, and uh, did what she had to do. You've, you've obviously learned the ice cool way of tackling it from him, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, a wonderful day for all of you involved, and. Uh, all the way through yesterday, we saw a uh, fantastic competition unfolding in front of us. We're going to have a look at a, a few more images uh, from yesterday as well of uh, what came up in there. But Harry, to come to you, Marcus Ennings round, from, from your thoughts, I mean, he was first to go. He would usually be the man to put the pressure on you. But four faults from him, th that made a big difference to the other two and how you were going to play your strategy. Yeah, uh, definitely. If he was uh, clear, then you had to go and you, you had to try to beat him. But uh, now it was a different situation, and with three riders in the, in the jump off, it gets more a tactical uh, game. And, and as Henrik, you were talking about there, I mean, three of you in the jump off, the nice thing is you're guaranteed a podium spot. Y you can relax a little bit, can't you? Obviously going after the win, but uh, as you say, worst, you're third. I'm sure it's a bit of a different... When it's ten in the jump off or whatever, then, I mean, you have more to lose. Um, 
And like I said, for Evelina yesterday, a uh, third place would also have been a fantastic achievement. And so in the end, um, and we had a good spot. We were last to go, so I said, okay, we just have to check the other two. And then, of course, when Marcus had one down, then we just had to check what Harry did. And uh, we saw there was a little bit of room. So, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. You, sh you sh saw the chink of light and you dive straight through it brilliantly. Well, very well done yesterday. Now, we're going to have a look at your round as well, Evelina, and uh, talk about the fantastic horse that you're sitting on as well. You've been through an amazing training lineup here and fantastic riding, but you're also coupled up with what is a superb horse. Tell me what's so special about Costello and talk us through this a little bit. Uh, he's just a nine-year-old, so it's a really good age, and uh, I can trust the team for 100%. Uh, and how long have you been riding him? What's that relationship been like? Um, I got him in the beginning of the year, and then, uh, yeah, um, we have um, learned each other quite quick, and yeah came together very, very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we've been seeing you progress during the year, back to Shanghai, when we saw you jumping fantastic rounds there all the way through. I it's made a huge difference to your development, hasn't it, being a part of the tour this year? Yeah, no, it's a big different, big different from the beginning. And, yeah. and how much did those early rounds give you the confidence here yesterday? It has uh, given me a lot. So now I have much more confidence to ride these classes, for sure. Well, it's, it's been a fantastic performance all the way through. Henrik, let's, let's come on to you. We, we're very used to seeing you riding in the ring, winning Grand Prix, doing everything you're doing. Training hat on this week. What's that like for you? I mean, we're usually seeing you ice cold. You know, you know exactly what you're going to do. We were seeing you outside like a cat on hot bricks yesterday, nervous for, for once in your life. That's definitely more nervous to stand next to. I mean, when you don't have the reins in your hands, you can't, you can't do anything. I mean, she's alone in there. I can only try to help as much as I can on the warm-up and tell her what to do. But in the end, she's alone in the ring. and uh, Yeah, it's, it's different. Uh, but I have to say, with Evelina, is also a really, really nice student. Uh, she tries her best and uh, never trying to find any uh, stupid explanations or trying to um, put the fault on the horse or anything like this. So I have to say, my job is also really nice in that way. And of course, when it happens like yesterday, uh, it feels like I'm winning as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a new experience. Um, I hope it's not going to be every weekend that I have to stand <laughs> and, and train only, uh, that I also can ride a bit. Uh, but uh, it was a fantastic day yesterday. So when he gets back in the saddle, are you going to be training him, I believe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and and how, long's, how long has he been training you? How has this come together? Uh, from the beginning of the year also, yeah. And what's he like to work with as a trainer? It's quite hard, <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> I learn a lot. You learn a lot. You're yeah. quite a hard taskmaster, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, to come on to you, yesterday's uh, performance right the way through, and, and it's much longer than yesterday. It's all the way through the season to take you through to the Longines Global Champions Tour, champion of champions title. It's one you've been after this year. We know that. The way you've set out your, your stall, your plan. Uh, but the team behind... I mean, Axel Valoy, all of those that have been involved, Copernicus with the horses. It's been a strategy to get there. Did you expect to get there before the final, though? No, definitely not. Uh, I was never counting on uh, taking the lead or taking the win here in, uh, in Rome. Uh, I was only focused on, on myself and on Don uh, to have the best performance. And, uh, but when I walked the course for the Grand Prix, I thought it was not coming many clears today, so then uh, my chances are raising. And uh, then when the others made faults, and then I got some information from the from the people from the crew behind here that uh, that I could win it, and uh, already here. But I, I would never, I never expected that because all the other riders were also out with the big guns, and but it happened. And for you, a little like we were talking about, with three in the jump off, I mean that that put you in an assured position to start with. But that would have made a difference to your mindset, I would have thought, wouldn't it? Because you know whatever you do there, you are going to be gonna getting top. Yeah, also. But And I know my horse, uh, I wanted to have a, a clear yesterday after Marcus' round. Um, and that's why I probably I slowed too, too much down for the, for the win. But anyway, um, I, I was very, very pleased with another clear and another performance. Three times clear yesterday from Don, also in the GCL. Um, 
it's outstanding what he's performing this year. And not only Don, but Emerald, as we've seen as well. I mean, you've got two amazing horses, but two completely different horses to go to. Yeah, they are, they are different. They have the same father, but they are different. And uh, every horse has, has different uh, strengths, and, uh, but I try to use them the best as I can. Well, the, the two of them together perform brilliantly. Uh, and I mentioned in there, I mean, we're talking about the team behind Evelina and so forth, but I mean, Axel Voloy and the team behind you, Talk me through how that's worked a little bit this year as well and what the reaction was yesterday because they were back in Belgium. Yeah, they were back in Belgium because there was a championship in Belgium. Uh, Jos was there. He was second yesterday with a, with a son of Emerald. So it's, uh, it's been amazing. It's a bit uh, probably a silver weekend combined with, <laughs> a, <laughs> with a leading in the, with a win in the, in the GCT. But uh, we have a, a fantastic year all around. And Axel is, uh, is managing everything. He's our team manager, but also besides that, um, he makes sure that we have horses enough that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, he's, the, he's the man who is all day in charge uh, uh, to connect people, um, uh, to phone the owners, to, to, to manage everything. He's, he's the middleman. And uh, that works out really well. But in the same way as a Formula One team works, if you like, you as the driver or the rider in the same situation we're talking about here, you can then focus on what you need to focus on. Exactly. And uh, then we, we can use our strengths from Axel, from me, uh, from Copernicus in the right way. And uh, that's why this year everything comes together. Henrik, from you, I mean, you've been in that, if you like, world as well. When you were based with Lugger, now you're out on your own doing your own thing. What's been the differences there? How have you found that jump again going from a management team around you to now building your own? Okay, it's a little bit different, but uh, I was, I think, in the greatest school of them, of them all by Lutka. Um, so I got a good thing to stand on. Um, but okay, the difference now is that I have to make sure that I pay the bills. Um, so uh, I have to make sure also not just the sport goes well, uh, that also the money comes in. Uh, so um, it's a bit different, uh, but it's, I mean, it's like I said, from, uh, of course it's nice to win myself, uh, but then it's also nice to have something else also, like this weekend when it goes well for the student, I am also happy and uh, yeah, it's a bit different, but it's... Well, it's a fantastic performance from all of you all around. Yeah.